Welcome to the Family History Guide Show Me series, using the online tracker for groups and reports. If you haven't accessed the online tracker, you will need to go to the login page for the online tracker and create a free account. It's the only place in the Family History Guide that requires a login. If you are teaching or mentoring a class or group of people about subjects on the Family History Guide website, you may wish to form an online tracker group to monitor the progress of the members of your class or group. Once you log into your online tracker account, you will find the links to groups and reports. Clicking groups opens a screen where you can invite others to join a reporting group, and then set up groups of email addresses. Start by collecting the email addresses for the people to be included in your group. Make sure ahead of time that each person who will be in the group has an online tracker account. Open the online tracker and click groups in the menu bar. In the create new group box, type the name of the group and click create. The name of the group appears in the your groups box. In the request access to another user's data box, type the email address and a message for the person whose data you want to access. Click Request. The email address, request status, pending, granted, or denied, and timestamp appear in the Requests to View Others data area. Repeat the previous two steps for each person who needs a request. In the Your Groups box, click the link of the group you added. This opens the Group Management page. If you want to change the group name, type the new name for the group and click Rename. To add a member to the group, select a member from the user select box and click add. If the select box is empty, you have already added all the users you have permission to add. To remove a member from a group, find the person's name in the members list and click the remove from group link next to the person's name. The person's name is added back into the user select box so it may be added later. To return to the main group screen from the group management page, click groups in the top menu. You can run reports to see the progress of the members of your group. All reported data comes from slider bar values set for individual choices, in the online tracker accounts of those participating in a group. Reported values include started, good, and proficient. See the corresponding exercises in the Family History Guide for descriptions of how to achieve good or proficient levels for a given choice. All charts are the same height. The left axis is adjusted to display the numeric range for the report. You can hover over any bar on a report to see its description and totals. To run a current report, begin by clicking Reports in the Tracker home page. Click Current Reports and then select a group to report. To run a historical report, Click Historical Reports and then select a group to report. See Online Tracker Help for further instructions about the detail in each report. Now it's your turn to try out the features of online tracker groups and reports. 